Good morning. I'm joined here by uh, Superintendent in Chief Dan Linsky and uh, Superintendent uh, Bruce Holloway from our investigative services unit. Um, early Sunday morning, Boston police received several reports of assaults against women in the area of Savin Hill and Harbor View Street. Since that time, detectives have been aggressively working around the clock to identify the dangerous individual responsible. At this time, our investigation remains active and ongoing, but I'm pleased to report that investigators have placed 31-year-old Walter Maines of Dorchester under arrest in connection with the assault that occurred in the area of Harbor View Street. Maines is currently in custody and charged with attempted rape, armed robbery, indecent A and B, and accosting. He's expected to be arraigned later today in Dorchester Court. Officers responded to a total of three incidents on Sunday morning. At approximately 2.08 a.m., police responded to Savin Hill Avenue where a female victim reported being approached by a suspect, threatened with a gun, and sexually assaulted. At approximately 3.01 a.m., a second victim in the area of Harborview Street reported that a suspect with a similar description to the above threatened her with a gun and attempted to sexually assault her. The suspects fled both scenes after assaulting the victims. Both victims contacted 911 shortly after the incidents and provided good suspect descriptions. In addition, earlier, a female at approximately 1.40 a.m. was walking on Savin Hill Avenue when she was approached by a male fitting the description of the other two incidents. She motioned for help, at which point the suspect fled. She immediately contacted 911. The ongoing investigation has indicated that Walter Manns is also responsible for this incident, and he is charged with accosting and assault in connection with it. As I mentioned, this investigation is ongoing and additional charges will likely follow. Police are executing multiple search warrants and also awaiting results from physical evidence recovered at the scene. This is an important opportunity to remind community members about personal safety and the importance of always being vigilant to your surroundings. I'm going to list some personal safety tips. One, always be aware of your surroundings, especially at night. When parking, walking, or returning to your car, remain in well-lit and populated areas. Wear sneakers or shoes that allow for added mobility. Be watchful and aware. Keep your head up. Make quick eye contact with those around you and be observant of passing vehicles. Don't become distracted by talking on a cell phone or listening to an iPod or similar device. Avoid walking alone late at night. Walk with friends and people you know. Keep a whistle within reach. If you feel threatened, use the whistle to signal residents that you need assistance. Hold your car keys in your hand to use as a weapon against an attacker. Carry a cell phone. I'd also like to take a moment uh, to thank the great work of the uh, sex Sexual Assault Investigation Unit. Um, they wor literally worked around the clock since the uh, first report came in and, uh, and have uh, closed the case out very quickly. They did so with the help of, a, uh, of an observant and uh, a cooperative uh, probation officer. Um, Ron Corbett, the new uh, probation chief, uh, has been working very closely with this department. And uh, this is an example of two agencies working closely together that paid dividends and uh, made the city safer as a result. So I'd like to thank him and his probation officers for their assistance. Any questions? M-A-I-N-S. So he's charged, there's three assaults. He's charged with two of them, is that right? With two of the three. The third victim is being talked to now. Uh, she's a little upset, and uh, we want to make sure that she's in the right frame of mind before the, the identification is... Uh, is that the one that was near the Savin Hill T-Station? Uh, yes. Okay, so he's charged with one on Savin Hill, the first one at one, uh, whatever, and the one at Harbor View and Don Avenue. That's correct, and the second incident occurred in between those two times. Was the most serious incident uh, commissioned the one on at the Savin Hill Peace Stop? It appears that was an actual assault as opposed to an attempted? Y yes. And can you describe the level of the assault? What are we talking about here? Was someone dragged off or how? Well, it was, a, uh, it was a, a rape, a sexual assault and a rape. Uh, th there may be a kidnapping charge also uh, involved in it. Uh, I, I don't want to get into all of the details of, of the incident. Uh, we'll save that for the arraignment. But I can tell you this is a very dangerous person. He's had a prior history of similar types of assaults. And someone, uh, it's, it is very good to have off the street at this point in time. And you don't believe there's anybody else out there necessarily? No, there's no indication there was any more than one suspect. There were, was right. a second at Harborview as well? 
No, there was a second one at Savin Hill. Uh, it actually came in as an accosting complaint about 20 or 30 minutes prior to the actual uh, rape incident that occurred that was reported on yesterday. Can you repeat the time of the first incident? 1.40 a.m. Was there a gun shown in all Yes. Have you recovered the weapon? Uh, we are executing search warrants at two residences now, one in Dorchester and one in Hyde Park. Uh, we're also executing a search warrant for a motor vehicle uh, that was involved. The suspect was arrested uh, this morning in, in, the, in Hyde Park uh, on Beaver Street. Beaver. What's his uh, prior record for? He was on probation? He was uh, awaiting, uh, he was on um, bail awaiting charges, uh, but there were several incidents, uh, one in 2009 that was very similar in nature uh, where a woman was accosted, uh, he had a firearm, um, and uh, he's awaiting trial on that particular case. Is he a registered sex offender? He is not at this point in time. Commissioner, where was that uh, prior incident in Oconee? Did that happen in Georgia? Dudley Street. Thank you all very much. I appreciate your coverage of this.